What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in South Georgia. Hey, I want to, uh, um, I got to carry some stuff down to the dealer to get it serviced that I'm on. I'm fixing to go get all that stuff loaded up. And then I want to talk about, uh, I want to have business conversation basically around, uh, you know, what are your goals for 2021? Uh, what are your, uh, what do you consider success, I guess, would probably be a better question. So let me, get, I'm gonna take you with me, get all this stuff loaded up, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll talk about that. All right, it took forever. Might need a new starter on it now, but uh, we got it running. Woo, I like to knock myself out. Got a little problem. Got a hole in the sidewall. So that tire's shot. But anyway, I'm gonna air it up and get it up there. Get new tires put on it while it's being serviced. That's about all we can do at this point. To get it loaded up all right we got the z loaded that xr7 deck on it hopefully it'll crank back up and i get it up there i love the break on demand with the hustlers problem is when it gets loose or it wears out or whatever you gotta strap this one it'll probably still roll all over my trailer hopefully it don't hit nothing and break nothing but i have to air the tire back up and i get there i reckon they got air at the shop or I got my little compressor filled up in the back, so got the trimmers on there. Take all that stuff and get it serviced. So when mowing season comes, we ready to go. We ready to mow, man. Mow, man. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, we'll do some business talk in a minute. Let me get out here on the road. All right, we are out of the cold. We got all that loaded up. I should have put my X1 on here. Although I want to take the SD in to get a couple of things checked on it. But uh, if I'd have had the X1 on here with the uh, Hustler Z, I would have had a load. Um, those two mowers would have been, uh, I don't know, probably about 2,700 pounds just for those two mowers. Uh, probably got a 2,000 pound trailer with whatever else I got on it. But anyway let's get to uh the question at hand just kind of a little business talking and i'm gonna, i'm putting this out here uh i think everybody knows this uh but it, there is a trap uh that we can get into in terms of business and and that trap is to set our goals according to somebody else's goals so uh, you know in the lawn industry there are uh some big operations um you know and and uh, i don't know who the honestly i don't know who all the big players are i know who some of them on youtube are you take a guy like uh richie plemons uh great guy you know and it, this is not a richie probably won't even watch this but this is no way a, a you know a, 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 a stab or a jab at him uh he's got his lawn care business and now he's starting a trucking side you know and so that's his goals. He's a go-getter. That's what that's what he's going after. Uh, looks like the Spencers are probably going to add uh, a crew this year. Uh, you know that seems to be the intent. Uh, you know uh, Cody and uh, Courtney. Uh, looks like they may be ramping up a little bit. Again, I, I'm just I'm just talking. Of, this is stuff I've seen from YouTube channels. I'm on, and all of that's great. Uh, and then you have somebody like me that's on the other end of the spectrum. So I'm a guy that's doing this on the side. My only desire at this point in time is to do this on the side. And so success for me uh, doesn't look like uh, what Richie's doing or what Sean and TQ's doing or what Cody and Courtney's doing. And so there's all kind of people fall all in between that spectrum. Uh, you know, I know Josh with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. I mean, he's a lot like me. He's got a committed full-time job. Uh, David uh, with Sheepdog Property Services, kind of the same way. He's got a full-time job, law enforcement. Shout out to uh, the Blue. And uh, so, so the, we're at different ends of the spectrum, if you will. And 
I put that contrast out to say this. What is success for me uh, is not necessarily going to be your measurement of success or any of those other folks' measurement of success. Success for me, now this is how I look at success. Success for me is accomplishing what I want to accomplish, right? It's achieving my goals. And, and sometimes, honestly, it's not even achieving those goals. It's... Uh, it's, it's the battle to achieve those goals. Uh, we don't always, uh, you know, we don't always hit our goals. We don't always end up where we thought we would. Uh, some of that, a, a lot of that is outside our control. So, you know, you can do a lot of marketing. You can do great, you can do a lot of marketing and still not get a lot of customers. You can do great work and still have customers drop you. Uh, and it might, it might just be that, you know, their life stage changes. They can no longer afford the services, you know, whatever the case might be. So, uh, it's important to focus uh, your energy on, hey, who do I want to be? You know, what do I want to accomplish? Uh, me, I just want to have a small side business. Um, and I use my business really as an extension of my ministry uh, to meet people, uh, to engage people, um, to help people. Uh, that's why you'll see me, you know, do some stuff for practically free or free. Uh, and, and listen, that's not a that's not a that's not a pat on my back. Uh, that's that's really a testimony to uh, how good the Lord's been to me and put me in that situation. And, and I'm certainly not the only one that does it. Uh, I know a lot of you uh, that watch this channel. If you do business, I'm sure you do the exact same thing in terms of helping people. So, what what is your measurement? Of Success? Is it a certain amount of accounts? Is it a dollar figure? Uh, is it a certain percentage of increase in the business this year? You know, uh, some people are trying to add 50 accounts. You may only be trying to add five accounts. And if you add five accounts, you're just as successful as the person who adds 50 if those were your uh, respective goals. So, uh, hey, YouTube is a great thing, and all these channels that I mentioned, I have the utmost respect for them. Uh, obviously, I know what's going on in their lives. I watch their channels, okay? Uh, but but I don't watch their channels with a desire to be like them or to scale a business up to the level that they're at. Now, will that change one day? Well, one day I say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to put a truck on the road. I'm going to do quotes. Somebody else can cut the grass or do the landscaping. You know, my desires might change. Uh, I'm doing this. So let me give you my goal. Uh, my goal is different than anything I've talked about. I'm doing this uh, primarily for the adventure of it. Never owned a business before in my life. Always worked for somebody else. Uh, have always made a decent living. I mean, we haven't went without. Uh, so... So to me, uh, I engage in stuff a lot of times just because it's the adventure. So I, I would be one of those kind of people that would say, hey, it's, it's not the destination, it's the journey, right? It, it, it's the process of getting, getting there, the process of going, okay, uh, can I do this? And I don't want to make this video too long, but, but just to go back and, and, and kind of tell you my story in a nutshell, how I got in lawn care. Uh, I actually went and bought uh, that Raptor SD I got on the trailer, uh, bought a Husqvarna 128 LD, uh, and you know, you can put different attachments on it, so it was a string trimmer, I bought an edger to go with it, I bought a hedge trim uh, piece to go on it, I did a review on that, um, bought a handheld Husqvarna blower, 128B or something like that, um, had a little old rundown trailer, uh, bought some gas cans. You know how many properties I had when I bought all that stuff? Zero. My goal to begin with uh, was, now I knew in the back of my mind when I bought this stuff that there would be people that want their grass cut, but I didn't have any accounts. And so what I started out doing is uh, I started out going to some of the elder, elderly folks in the community, some people that, uh, you know, lawnmowers broke, uh, sick, whatever, needed help. And I just showed up and cut the uh, grass. A lot of times I cut it even when they weren't home. Uh, it, it took some people a little while to figure out that I was doing it. And so uh, I, I didn't let those people pay me. 
and uh, even once they did find out, some of them would bring me five gallon can cans full of gas and stuff like that. But you know, uh, just helping out. But then when it happened, people saw me out cutting and they started calling, hey man, could you come give me a price on my lawn? And so my goal was basically to pay for my equipment. I probably had to begin with about $6,000 worth of equipment, including, uh, including the, uh, the, the Rapid Rest D. And so, uh, and then more people started calling. And so I said, well, man, if I'm gonna really do this, you know, I, I started looking at the next challenge is like, okay, uh, I'm growing a little bit, so I'm gonna buy some stuff to meet the needs. So I went out last year, I bought the Hustler X1, I bought this, uh, I had this trailer built. It's a, you don't see this much. It's a six by 16 with a dovetail and a four foot gate. Uh, had this trailer built, you know, picked up some more equipment, you know, uh, saw, chainsaw and string trimmers and stuff like that. And uh, so it's just been an adventure for me. And so my goals are relatively easy to meet. Now I do not want to give the impression, to, if, if you're trying to make a living from this, you, you probably cannot go at it. Uh, now I'm making money. But if you're trying to make a living, put food on the table, uh, you don't want to take the approach I took, most likely, okay? And again, these are my goals, and, and, and that's the whole point of this. My goals and your goals, what we want to achieve out of this is going to be different. And so since this lawn care picked up for me, uh, I'm getting all my stuff paid off. Uh, I'm working towards that, you know, aggressively. And and now I got money in the bank. Most of it I could pay off right now if I wanted to, but I got 0% loans, no point in paying it off, just keep making that payment every month. But, and then uh, we want to build a house at some point. And, and so my goal now is just to take whatever I make after taxes paid and equipment, all that kind of good stuff. I don't take money from the company to live off of, put it in a savings account and the hope is, you know, if I continue to do this, if nothing changes and I continue to do this for five or, or you know, uh, maybe 10 years or whatever it is, uh, that, you know, if I do well at it, I'd like to have enough money in the bank uh, to pay somebody at least uh, to take and dry me in a house and then I finish it myself. Uh, you know, and then I probably sub some of it out, but uh, that kind of deal. So, you know, that, that's kind of my goal. My goal is kind of long term with it. Uh, who knows what's going to happen? Uh, but anyway, maybe this was an encouragement to somebody because some, t you know, sometimes we can look at guys and gals that are doing great, doing really, really well, and we compare ourselves to that and we go, man, you know, I I'm I'm not seeing that kind of success and, and this, that, and the other. And there are a lot of things that play into that. Okay, set goals that are reasonable for you. And and look, if you talk to Sean. Uh, if you if you watch uh, Spencer's lawn care, he'll he'll remind you of some of his old videos when there was a little old trailer and 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 a and a tractor, you know, lawn tractor. How he got started. So you can't look at what people have today and say, man, that's where I got to start at. You 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 start where you are and then you work up to where you want to be, one goal at a time. So uh, I hope maybe somebody's watching this and maybe you've been discouraged. You've been working hard. Set goals that are achievable uh, for you, and when you hit those goals, and even when you work hard and come close to those goals, but fall short for whatever reason, still celebrate your wins. Uh, celebrate your wins. If that's a phrase you could uh, take with you, take that phrase with you. Hey, appreciate you taking the time to watch today. I got to get up here and drop these mores off. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great, great day.